Hello everybody and welcome to B-Ron Sports. I'm B-Ron and I am so excited to finally be able to get this going. So I'm going to break this down into a couple of sections. You know, we're going to talk about my background, the content for the channel that's going to be planned, and a schedule as well. The gameplay you are seeing behind you in the video is WWE 2K19, match between Charlotte and Oscar. It's, it's a pretty good match, actually. It's pretty good, and you'll, you'll see it over the course of the video how it played out. I really enjoyed how the, uh, the match played out while it's in the background. We'll do some more. I'll probably do some more talking over that as we get uh, going here further into the video. But going into my background, so I've been into sports my whole life, and I really, really love them. Uh, baseball is my favorite sport, and it has been for the longest time because that's one that I played the most uh, growing up as a kid. But I'm always, I'm always uh, into, you know, baseball, basketball, football and wrestling, just to name a few. So, you'll see a lot of that kind of on the channel. So getting into the content of the channel, again, mostly rolling around sports games, but the content's gonna vary here because I have, I have so many different things that I can do and that I want to do as far as content for the channel and things like that. So, I want to do things rolling around, you know, Madden 20, uh, NBA 2K19, I might do 20, I don't know, I haven't decided as far as that goes, but I know I want to do Madden, and I, I want to do WWE Universe Mode content when 2K20 drops. I have a Universe Mode currently going in 2K19, and I may do a little uh, wrap-up video before we get started with that down the road, but that'll be, again, that'll be down the road for when we get there. But I'm a, I'm a big franchise mode, story mode kind of guy, so... If I can tell you a story or stories throughout the season, throughout a match, throughout a month of a, a month of a thing, whatever it may be, uh, that's the goal here. So I'm going to do my best to try and tell you stories that you are interested in that I think will be pretty cool to see as well as the match is going to uh, get started here very shortly as the bell rings. There we go. Ding, ding, ding. And all that stuff. <laughs> but yeah, so... So yeah, I, I, that's that's the plan as far as a a uh, as the content goes. I went to school for sports commentary, and currently I do, in fact, do sports commentary for a community college in the area. So I have that area of uh, background as far as that stuff goes, and that is the style that I'm going to be going for when I when we actually get into the games, the matches, what have you. I'll be doing them like we are actually, you know, at an event live, or you're listening to it on the radio, watching it on TV. That's the sort of thing that I'll be doing as far as, you know, as far as getting the voice work to you guys. It'll be, it'll be live commentary is what I'm trying to say. Short version, it'll be live commentary. But it'll be like we're actually there, you know. It, it, it'll be fun. I, I think you guys will like it. I, I haven't seen anybody do it this way on YouTube, so I'm really excited to see what you all think about it once you get a little bit of a taste of it, and I may give you some of that uh, towards the end of the video as this match continues to uh, to go. It's still in the early stages, but as it continues to go, I may give you a little bit more of a insight into what you can expect from that. Moving on into scheduling now, so this is going to be the tricky part. To figure out for me anyway because currently I'm shooting for a video for every two weeks that would be great anyway it'd be ideal every two weeks and it's mostly because I do stream on Twitch on Mondays Tuesdays and Saturdays I also work part-time but uh, as of now that uh, every two weeks is gonna be a s solid goal to have to shoot for as far as releasing a video it gives me time to get adjusted and everything to YouTube and bear with me on that part because it's gonna take me a little bit to get adjusted to the whole YouTube space and whatnot so I would appreciate all of the patience that you can muster for me trying to fit YouTube into my schedule around everything else that I have 
going on as well. You know, with the part-time job, with the Twitch streams, and all that other business. It'll be fun to try and figure it all out. And, and of course, my my own uh, sports commentary obligations already. So, you know, working all that stuff around things. There may be weeks here or there where you won't see a video. You may come two weeks, may not see a video. Probably because I have that time to record one. And that's just going to be the nature of things. Unfortunately, that's just how this is going to uh, have to work. I realize, <laughs> watching the video back now, <laughs> that I forgot to turn off my notifications for the uh, for, for some things. And that's going to pop up here. But it's fine. I'll have that for next time turned off that way. Those kind of things don't finish. Charlotte gets a vicious spear on the Oscar. She gonna put her away? She gonna try to? Yeah, there's the pin. And the one, two, nope, just to just kick out at one there by Asuka. Okay. So I think, I think for the rest of this, we're going to, is we're just a minute into, six minutes into the match. Yeah, six minutes in, which is pretty good. It's pretty good so far. And there's, there's the kick. And into the hip attack from Asuka. And Asuka now into the cover. One, two, no, Charlotte kicking out at two, staying alive, and Asuka cannot believe it. Hands on the head in disbelief. But now she's setting up for it, looking to put Charlotte away. And she's got it, Asuka lock. Asuka lock locked in. Charlotte, Charlotte in a dangerous position. Can she break out of the hold? The ref is checking. Ref is checking, Asuka has the hole locked in, but Charlotte able to fight back to a seated position and elbow her way out of the ever dangerous Asuka lock. Charlotte blocks the drop kick. And now Charlotte kick to Asuka, puts her down and natural selection. Now Charlotte looking for the cover to put her away, one. Two, no, Asuka gets a shoulder up at two. You know, I kind of like this. I like that I get to give you guys a little bit of taste what you can expect. And now Charlotte's just showing off here, channeling her father as she gets a clothesline. Another one. Duck under the clothesline from Asuka and into a flying clothesline. Here she comes. And I'll stump pull her on the leg. Asuka, look, Asuka, jawbreaker escapes, Charlotte looking to continue to work on the leg, trying to set up for the figure eight, which put many women away in the vicious chop there from Asuka, from Charlotte. Now Charlotte's setting up, looking to put it away. Here is a second natural selection. A second one as the ref recoils in shock. He saw that one before, but this one looked more vicious than the first one. The cover, one, two, and no. Once again, Asuka staying alive, kicking out at two. Charlotte cannot believe it, clapping her hands at the ref. And now, the neck breaker, no, it's reversed. Asuka manages to escape. Uh, set an arm breaker by Asuka. And now here comes the Empress. She taunts there and eats a punch. Charlotte sends her into the corner. Forearm to the face sends Asuka down to the mat and another cover one two nope just a two count not enough to put the Empress away she is fighting to stay alive in this one Asuka with the punch back Charlotte up the surf and down for a suplex into the cover nice transition there one two and there's the kick out at two. Sorry about that there. I realized that my screen went dark as I was recording and didn't realize it until just now. <laughs> I looked up and was like, oh, wait a minute. My screen's dark. That's not good. I got to fix that. <laughs> as we see Charlotte lifting Asuka onto her back, twisting her around. But Asuka with the head scissor. Charlotte with a kick to back Asuka off into the leg there. And now Charlotte tosses Asuka over the ropes and outside the ring. Match been really good. This is a really entertaining match to actually watch. And now that I'm watching it back again, 
this is really fun. <laughs> and by the way, for those of you curious, for my universe mode for, for WWE games, I do them all uh, CPU, CPU, and I watch the matches. And what I have been doing for the past couple years was doing right off on Operation Sports. And I will probably link those in the description once we get started with the WWE stuff. So we can have that as a, as you can see, sort of see how I was doing it before, how I'll be doing it now. Oh my goodness, look at that! One, two, no! How did that not put Asuka away? Electric chair drop? Amazing. Didn't put her away though. Charlotte, forearm in the corner again. Picking up the pace here. And a spear from Charlotte. She just leveled Asuka. Almost took her out of the ring with that one. One, two. No. Charlotte cannot put Asuka away. The heart of the champion. The heart of Asuka is real. And she is putting it all on display. Charlotte now. A third natural selection. Can this one... Put Asuka away in the middle of the ring. One, two, no. Once again, as Charlotte pounds back in frustration, what does she have to do to get Charlotte to stay down? Nothing is working. Now they lock up. Asuka pushes her away. Chop from Flair. Kick. Charlotte lifts Asuka up into a powerbomb position. And runs her back into the turnbuckle pad. Channeling her in her ass. That's a buckle bomb. As now Charlotte wraps those long legs of hers around the head of Asuka. The punch and into the cover. One. The pace has ramped up here in the last two minutes here in this match. And Asuka. Asuka with the Asuka lock. The second one of the match. She's got it locked in tight. Is Charlotte going to tap? That's it. Charlotte taps. Charlotte taps. This one is over. And Asuka is your winner here in this one. That was a great match. But, all right, you guys. Yeah, I think uh, that's going to do it for me in this one. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I really am excited to get everything going on this one. This is going to be a fun process. going to be a learning and growing journey for me. And I uh, really hope you all will, it will join me on the ride that's going to be, that's gonna be Raw Sports. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, on Twitch, and Instagram as well. And join the Discord. I have put all those links in the description box below. So you can get that out there for you guys. So you all can uh, get ready for the action here on the channel. And here. until next time, you guys, keep on shining. And keep on grinding. I will see you all in the next video. Oh, I forgot. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I gotta get that in there. <laughs> gotta get that in. Anyway, guys, have a good one. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in. I will catch you all in the next video.